June 24th and we're just having our third pick of the red currants which are pretty good this year. Some recipes say just stick the whole stalk in but I don't like to do that. But you've got to sort through them anyway to get out of the, any bad ones and get rid of the unripe ones and so on. time I've finished with them it won't be so many. It's about 10 minutes later. Although this looks like something from Francis Bacon's fevered imagination, it is in fact a very practical item, a jelly bag. And it's been straining overnight and actually all day as well. So now it's time to add the sugar. It's like such a lot of sugar. That's two pounds of sugar to about three pounds of liquid. So let's add the sugar. Whoa, it is warm. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh dear. Mm. So it looks like a huge quantity of sugar. People say an equal quantity of sugar and liquid that you need a certain amount of sugar in order to get it to set. You have to find the point at which it sets correctly um, so you don't get a runny jam or jelly but you mustn't go too far otherwise you get this really stiff rubbery jam or jelly. So it's a fine sweet spot and that sweet spot is quite difficult to identify and that's because it's a combination of the concentration of the pectin, the, co the acidity of the liquid, and the sugar concentration. <coughs> now the pectin and the acidity and some of the sugar comes from the fruit and you need the extra sugar to get that, that balance. And what you need to get, scientists have discovered, is a, quite an acid mix, a pH of between around 2.8 and 3.4 and you need to have a pectin concentration of around a, a half to one percent and you need a, a sugar content of around 60 to 65 percent oh yeah look, look, look at that that's good well, let's see maybe the finger test so it's not, ooh, well, yes, I think it's there. Oh, oh yeah. That was red jelly in my red jammies. Thank you. Now for the washing up. 